What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Chase and he's Sky. And today we're reacting to Ruby Volume 1 All Soundtracks. And by the way, we have a Patreon. If you want to see uncut, unblurred, early reactions, go check it out. And if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you. We greatly appreciate it. And let's hop on this first one. It's called This Will Be The Day. Play it, Chase. Let's get it. I play, I'm pretty sure we uh, watched this one, didn't we? From the first episode? Um, I'm pretty sure short version. Or are you talking about like the trailer? I think both. I think it was both. Was she had the headphones on too? I mean, it's a banger. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's this one about, guys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is so catchy. It is. I can just see the fight happening in front of me. Kind of a dark song, not gonna lie. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Alright, tell me... This could be a fighting game music soundtrack. 100% bro. Imagine the comp 100%. combo in someone bro with this. Oh bro. See that's so dark right there. That is all so dark. Okay, look at Ruby's design though. That is so sick. I know. With the 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 ammo on her side like that too. Crazy. Mm -hmm. To this guitar solo. Oh my god. <laughs> say we're getting a full on guitar solo right now. Oh, bro, it's about to go hard. Uh huh, wait for it. Please? <laughs> Drop the bass? Oh my god. By the end of this, it's gonna be stuck in my head. <laughs> I know. That was fire. Mm. That was fire. Actually, listen, listening to the whole thing, brilliant, bro. And these, all of these, like this whole soundtrack, was mentioned multiple times even during the trailers They're like watch the or watch the soundtracks before you go into season two i'm like oh my god like i'm <laughs> glad y'all told me because th this is fire already actually hearing the full song from the trailer in episode one i love it um the song pretty dark not gonna lie to you yeah bro like when we reacted the show right mm -hmm. like volume one this song is like super hype with the guitar and everything yeah and I never thought too deeply into the lyrics. And it's a lot darker than I thought. It's like, it's kind of talking about like this balance of like hope and despair, new beginnings, but also like the end, like this whole time. Like, wait, the world's that's ending? kind of dark. <laughs> 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 so, like, you know how like, I've been saying like Ruby and her crew should be uh, fighting game characters like for so long, right? So mm -hmm. apparently they are in a fighting game. Uh, I don't know which one it is, but. People, uh, people in the comments said that they are in a fighting game, and I can definitely see them like dropping a DLC for something, and then dropping like a whole soundtrack for the stage and stuff like that. That'd be awesome. But the character designs and everything, flawless. I can definitely say that'd be that thing. You know how it, uh, in some anime and some shows, the voice actors are actually the ones singing? Do you think that's the mm. same for Ruby? Do you think the Ruby voice actors are singing like the OSTs and music and all that? I feel like it could totally be a thing. Bro, 
I don't know. That would be so cool, though. 100%. Imagine having the talent to do both. So, Sky. Yeah. When I think about Ruby and its songs, right, this is the song I think about every single time. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite song. I'm actually super curious if there's going to be other full-length songs in here that I end up liking more than this one, because I don't know. This one's already such a banger. I don't know if it could be top. 100%. And I feel like some of these soundtracks are going to be from the fights, too. So, like, we're so distracted on the fights and everything, and now it's our turn to, like, finally, like, focus on the song. I feel like it's going to be a whole different view. And <laughs> I'm ready for it. Ruby, Red Like Roses, Part 1 and Part 2. Play it, Chase. All right, let's get it. Wait, have we listened to this one before? I think so. Wait, was this? I'm confused. Was this the one, the trailer, and the first one was the episode one? Mmm, this one might have been the trailer, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure we've listened to all these in, like, the shorter yeah. condensed form. Oh, wait, I think this is talking about her mom, right? Rosu? So? Hmm. Oh, I was thinking about all of them! That's pretty dope. I'm liking this. Switch up, okay. This one's interesting. What instrument is this? I was literally trying to think that. I was like, it's it's kind of sounds like a banjo, but not at the same time. I was going to say ukulele, but definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I it could be The build up's crazy. Wait, we're pirates now? <laughs> Bro, I was already gonna say that kinda sounded like Pirates of the Caribbean, but this a hundred percent does. That's the same kind of rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's like you saw a sea monster you're just trying to turn back. <laughs> <laughs> really? Definitely adventurous, for sure. Dude, that's just kind of eerie. Bro, it's switching up over and over. I'm so confused right now. Okay. Oh, wait, is the play reversed? Is it? I can't tell if it's just faster or if it's in reverse. Oh, it's hard to tell. No, it's definitely new. The art's so sick, bro. I wonder what that's a supposed, like, supposed to signify. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> you know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like yin and yang. Like the white and the red. It's a oh, spiral. Oh, true. True, true, true. Oh my god. When did the soundtrack ever play? I'm so confused. I feel like we definitely listened to it though. I wonder if the spiral means it's like... Because Weiss is white, right? Her color? Yeah. I wonder if that means like... They're the other half of each other. Because they're kind of opposites. Do they like balance each other out? Mm -hmm. 
Where was Blake at, though? I don't know. Imagine Blake being a traitor. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had not for all my life was stripped away from me the minute that you died. To have you in my life was all I ever wanted. But now without you, I'm a soul forever haunted. Can't help but feel that I had taken you for granted. No way definitely talk about her mom. 100%. Oh. Wait, Ruby? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dang, they're these are all dark, bro. Beautiful. I'm assuming this is part two, right? It has to be. I think so. Dang. This is cool. We get to see the other side now. Mm. That's fire. That's. I wonder, do we ever get to see Ruby's mom in like flashbacks or anything? That'd be super cool. That goes so hard, bro. That line went crazy. Kind of fire, not gonna lie to you. We got mom dialogue. Oh my god. Bro, this is like a whole conversation. This is so fire. Okay, they join voices too. Oh my god, this is beautiful. For the solos every time. Okay, bro. The Ruby producers, right? Who did they hire? <laughs> Here's bro. That's three back to back to back to back to back. That, bro. Like, that's fire. Fire wow. Chase. That's all I gotta say. Wow. Well, we actually learned stuff about their interaction between the mom and daughter, Ruby. The switch up on the song was insane. Bro, how it was just Ruby just talking, and then it's like, oh, I'm the mom. I was like, wait, <laughs> this is interesting. Hold on. Um, So, since we never really saw, or we never saw Ruby's mom in general, right? All we saw was the grave. Mm -hmm. I want to know if we ever get dialogue between her and Ruby at all. Because I think that would be pretty interesting. And uh, I want to know how Ruby's mom died. 
that's something important for Ruby and her character. I feel like uh, something about the mom dying has to have some type of character development in the future for her. Because mm-hmm. in the trailer, we definitely saw her at the grave and fighting the wolves. But I feel like there's more to that. So, Sky, hmm. the thing about the dialogue between her and her mom, right? It was yeah. kind of reminiscent of the first song we listened to. Like, hope and despair, but instead it was like, the mom kind of wavering on, should I have stayed with my daughter mm-hmm. to be there for her? Or sacrifice myself for all these other people, it sounded like. Like, that's a really hard decision to make. Listen. Like, be there for your family or go save people? That's a hard decision to make. Because, bro, like, listen, right? From, like, a parent standpoint, you want to, you, like, you want to save your family, like, no matter what, right? But you also want to be a hero, and you also want to save other people. It's either just save my family or sacrifice yourself to save both. And I feel like that's what happened. She sacrificed herself to save both. And, you yeah. know, maybe, like, that choice leads into, like, depression for the family, but... I feel like that's just tough, you know? Like, because they're still going to damage your family no matter what. Hmm. But at the same time, they're at least they're not dead. Another interesting thing that she said is like, I wish I could tell Ruby to not go on the same path. Which I feel like Ruby is, bro. Like, Does that mean being a huntress? I think it is means being a huntress and like fighting against all these monsters and evil. She doesn't want that for her daughter because I'm assuming it's really hard. Mm-hmm. And But not only that, when it comes to Ruby... Like, she has her own choice to make. Like, does she not follow the path and kind of... It almost seems like she'd wallow in her sadness about her mother because she said there's this, like, hole she can't fill. Mm -hmm. Or does she actually do something and try to, you know, progress and move forward with her newfound friends? And even if it is dangerous, maybe these friends will help her a lot along the way. Maybe her mom didn't have a group like this, like, friends to rely on. And she didn't have a sister in the group either. I'm just saying. And bro, do you know, like, imagine if the mom was just by herself, being a huntress. That's what I'm saying, bro. No wonder she she didn't want Ruby to fall in footsteps, bro. Mm-hmm. That's dark. And I feel That's like, super dark. I feel like Ruby knows enough about her mom, you know, like, what she did and all that. Like, she has to know, right? So, I feel like she's responsible enough, responsible enough to realize that and still choose her own path. You know, like, I'm just interested in general, bro. Like, that's pretty... That does it. The whole song interesting that was that's it interesting ruby the third soundtrack mirror mirror part one and two play it let's get it and this is fandom's best girl apparently i don't know season one was kind of rough yep. but <laughs> hey but she she redeemed herself at the end of season one all i gotta say character development man 100 percent. i just gotta be patient Okay, I feel like we've definitely heard this one in the trailer. <laughs> but not the full version. Oh, this one's also already sad. <laughs> Ruby's trying to make us emotional, bro. Okay. That sounded like I was pulled up on Bowser, bro. Oh! Whoa! Oh, the piano? Oh my! We got bells too? What is going on? Dude, the switch up on all these songs. <laughs> Dude, that was kinda hard. That was kinda hard. I know for a fact Smokey Bear does not like them. Because they're just burned down. <laughs> okay, bro. These fire, fire bars, bro. <laughs> burning down the forest. I mean, we just definitely burned down that forest. Wow. 
Wow. Dang, that is sad. So, is Weiss's family, like, do they not communicate with her? Or, like, do they not, like, acknowledge her at all? Um, kind of sounds like that. The other song kind of said that she has, like, a royal, she's, like, bound by a royal duty of mm -hmm. some kind, so, could also be because of that. Is that why, could that be why she's a huntress? Is to try to prove her worth? Probably. Because I feel like in season one, she has that, like, stuck-up attitude of, like, a, a, mm -hmm. a loyal, right, or a royal. And this song just has a whole different point of view on it. So catchy. wants to be a huntress? Do you think, like, the family's making her be that? Yeah, I think her family's super hard on her. Saying in season one, her friendships was getting pushed away. Ruby, Blake. So, both of these songs have been depressing, right? But I feel like you can truly feel the loneliness in this one compared to the last one. Like, I 100%. feel like I feel like the last one was, like, more, like, violent and, like, more emotional, right? I feel like this one is just, like, emotionless in a way. Like, it makes you feel empty. Listening to that song, it really, like, I could see myself looking in the mirror. I'm like, damn. Am I alone? <laughs> like, Damn. I feel like Weiss's uh, story is about to be insane because we don't really know too much about her, right? And I feel like once the character development grows, it's going to be insane. And I want to see how strict her whole family is. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to see, like, what type of life she's living, like, with my own eyes, instead of, like, listening, listening to the song. 
everything about that song was like speaking facts like everything that she was saying about pushing friendships away ruby blake she almost lost those two friends and i feel like she's just really hard on herself for no reason and like really strict i wish she could get that from her parents um when like ruby's like messing around in the class or whatever like she shouldn't be that mad over a class you know what i'm saying i can definitely see that being a possibility so like the whole time i thought Weiss was like doing this for her her own right her own path but it seems like family is like pushing her to do this and saying forget all your dreams you're doing this for us a parent should not tell their child what to do in their life like yes to be responsible yes you know to try to be successful and try to push them you know but not push them into what you want them to do mm -hmm. that's just messed up in general and the switch up on every single song it's insane the musical genius behind this is crazy they're having brain blasts left and right. They're like, wait, switch it up. I'm like, <laughs> my ears are like, oh my god. And the song's like, uh, mirror, mirror, I'm gonna change it all. So does that mean like she's gonna like change her whole appearance? Do you think mm -hmm. that she realizes that hanging out with like Ruby and the gang, right, is uh, like her point of view is gonna switch and be like, well, dang, maybe I do like this, and maybe I can set my own path, being a huntress, and now listen to my family. Because I feel like it could go both ways, because her, like, taking orders from her family, right, to be a huntress, it's like, why am I doing this? But then she meets Ruby and all of them, and she's like, dang, this is kind of fun. I'm not going to do it for them, I'm going to do it for myself. And I feel like her being a huntress could lead into so many more different opportunities in life. That could be a possibility, right? Or do you think that she wanted to be an artist, like in the trailer, remember she was singing? Mm -hmm. Maybe, do you think that was, like, her dream? Maybe. He is a rebel. That was fire. That was a fire trailer. And if she wasn't an artist, that'd be fire. But her dropping that is just ridiculous, bro. Chase. From the shadows. Play it. Alright. Oh. Oh! It's Blake. <laughs> a mask guy. They start so slow, then they just pick up, bro. What's Blake uh, going to cook up, bro? Mm -hmm. The build up? Uh huh. Whoa! That was sick. Bro, what was that? How it gets they, me every time. How do they make these sounds? Like, bro, that's not like a magical orb about, like bouncing from my ear to ear. <laughs> True. They're casting dust on me, bro. Okay, bro, <laughs> this is a fighting game song. 100%. Uh, I'm Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Bro, why is this a Sonic song? Okay, I was, I was vibing until she just said that, bro. What? Every single one has been so messed up, bro. Oh my. Is it the same artist doing all these songs? I'm so confused. They do sound pretty similar.
Oh my god. Bro, could this be like Guitar Hero? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I wanna play this. Okay, this has to be the mask guy, right? Yeah, that yeah, definitely. Bro, this song, like, like the background wise, sounds like it's something from Sonic. Like, bro. It's like I'm Sonic running through like the rings and stuff, bro. It's so fire. Yeah. Halt, there's more. Wow. Every single time, Chase. It's just been fire! I like that one a lot. I don't, bro, I can't pick favorites, bro. I can't. I don't know, that one's really good. And each song has so much depth to the characters, bro. Like, there's so much dialogue in these lyrics. I feel like it just really has us understanding them a lot more than what Season 1 showed us. And I think this is why everybody wants us to listen to this. Because this is insane. For a soundtrack? Who does this for a soundtrack? I know, they go so hard. It just gets more and more depressing, each song. Maybe this one's just all about freedom. I mean, it's kind of about freedom, but it's kind of like about them how they didn't have freedom and they're trying to get freedom. Mm -hmm. And maybe they still don't have freedom. Yeah. And it's cool, like, seeing like how we're learning about more, the, more about the characters. Like, kind of their motivation of why they're doing what they do. Like, yeah. why do they act like that? Why do they say that? With Blake, it makes a lot of sense. Like, this is kind of about why she joined that group and everything. Mm -hmm. And what she was kind of fighting for. And the fact that Lisa's family and Blake's uh, family were both fighting in the war. It's like, all of this for, like... I, th I feel like it's just a tough situation all around, bro. Like, why can't just people why can't people just get along and just live normal lives? Mm -hmm. Like, so what if someone's, like, someone's different? Like, it shouldn't matter. I feel like Blake and Lisa's character development just went insane in that last episode. Because they're actually, like, communicating to each other. They don't care about the differences that they have, different opinions and all that. They're working as a team, and they'll stay as a team. And that's that's way better than fighting for no reason. Like, they're both going to be understanding each other. They're both going to be friends, no matter what. And that's what's beautiful about it. It just, like, saddens me because, like, it just, all this really happens for what... Like, people just can't get along with each other. So, Sky, yeah. I kind of have a prediction now after watching those two. I kind of feel like at some point in the future, those two sides are going to fight again. And they might have to come to the conclusion or, like, make a choice that do they have to pick a side. Mm -hmm. Like, that's going to be, like, a really hard decision given both their paths. Like, I feel like the reason she was, like, always pressured to be so perfect, right, from the last one, is maybe even because of this war, like being a huntress true like prepares you prepares you for that kind of life of maybe having to fight a war so like that's kind of her identity i could see them definitely like clashing again so even though they kind of made up do you think later right in ruby do you think this could be a, like a whole war arc probably and i feel like if there is a war arc right i feel like blake and weiss are definitely going to stop it together at some point 
Maybe, maybe like they can go on like both their sides, right? And they both sabotage each other's sides or try to talk them out of it. Because like, it's just nonsense. For what? Like everybody should be equal from never what. Like it shouldn't matter on anything. And like the fact that Blake had to hide her, her identity to be at the school is insane. She shouldn't have to hide herself. So we know like of somewhat why some of these characters join to being a huntress, right? Like Whis, her family, Ruby, her mom. I feel like the reason why Blake is joining in to being a huntress, right, is to defend herself because of all these wars happening. So to just get like stronger as in like for freedom, right? Discrimination mm -hmm. and especially like the war we were talking about, like you yeah. need strength to protect the people you care about. So mm -hmm. I could I could definitely see that's why. Man, like Ruby the show, bro, it's just so good. It's just so good. And it has really dark themes to it, bro. Like it's insane. Like from the openings, like it did not seem that way, but now like diving into season one and diving into the volumes or the soundtracks, it's just crazy to like realize what you're truly like listening and watching. Ruby, soundtrack five, I burn. Let's get it. She burns. Wait, are they brothers? You see that, Jeff and what? Okay, this is like really upbeat. I feel like this fits is. Yang perfectly. <laughs> like a fever, like a zard. Whoa! <laughs> okay, who's this person now? Is this even Ruby at all? What <laughs> were they ever cuss like this? Full has a potty mouth for real, for real. Bro! <laughs> Nah, bro, this one has to be it, Chase. Bro, I don't know. This might be my favorite. The upbeat music and, like, the rap, bro, out of nowhere? Phenomenal. Wow. Wow. That, that one was has so to be good. It. That one has to be it. That was insane. I was, was not so good. expecting anything like that at all from the previous ones, bro. The previous ones were like really like starting off slow and then they pick up, right? This one, bro, it just fits Yang so well. Because like hundred percent. I feel like Yang is just like the brave one and she doesn't care what anybody else like says or does. She's just gonna be swinging on people. It's gonna be fine for what <laughs> she stands for, you know what I'm saying? And the rap, bro, like, what? That rap just fits perfectly. Like, bro, 
if she ever has a fight scene, like one on one or anything like that, bro, this better play in the fight scene. That's all I gotta say. Dude, imagine them animating the fight scene, right? And then timing it with the music. Swing all you mm. want. I'm gonna take you down like a fever. And they, she puts her to sleep, bro. Like, bro, come on. That'd be so fire. Literally the whole time, I just, I was just envisioning Yang just using her like gauntlets, just flying and just beating people up, bro. Bro, that was fire. Yo. It's like a, it's like a switch that her like whole personality switches, and like she's even more aggressive. <laughs> like, bro, like what, what, what is it? It's like. I would say, like, an ability, but, like, it's not at the same time. Like, we've seen her, like, go all out on the bears, right? But what if she goes all out on, like, actual villains? I just want to see that happen. So, Sky, hmm. after listening to this, right, and, like, the lyrics, it kind of makes me feel like she's going to be, like, the rock of the group. Like, that never bends or breaks. Mm -hmm. Like, she always has that fire passion. She'll always push forward. Mm -hmm. I think that'll help inspire the group a lot, like, when times are down. Yeah, like she's always always going to be that presence kind of there that will push them forward. Hundred percent. I feel like she's really going to be like a, a really massive support character for Ruby. Uh, I feel like if anything happens, Ruby is just going to realize that Yang's always going to be there, and Yang's going to help her push forward, no matter what. And this kind of even proves it even more that maybe her mom didn't have someone like her, like that rock to help mm -hmm. her push, always push forward. Like that would suck a lot i just want to see more action from her bro like i want to see her fight with more of the gauntlets and like how she moves around and how she trains and i feel mm -hmm. like it's just a glimpse of what we're going to see in the future like the the scenes that we the, the action scenes that we've seen of yang it's just been fire like i want to see more of that ribby gold you already know what it is chase play it okay jeff williams casey williams That piece will play even more. Yup. Yes, sir. Yup, 100%. Push it forward. The mid scrambling. Yep. Bro, Yang's this tracks is so nice. are so fire, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that's hard. That is so wholesome. Bro, this is bro. This is making this is making me like Yang even more. Me too. Dude, I can't get over this. Back to back like this? Oh my.
Nah, this is it. This is probably the most wholesome one we've heard so far. Agreed. Wow. Bro, do you have to say it again? I was not expecting that. Dude, which one's better out of the last two? <sighs> They're both so good. Listen, I can't even pick. You know how Yang has that switch, right? Like she gets mad mm -hmm. at like a different personality? But what do you notice from the last one and this one? What? It's like it's like her personality switched on these two songs. Like the last one, she was all about like 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 these hands. This one, she's like True. a supportive character. And like she's calm. I feel like it's when she's with Ruby, she's calm, trying to help her push through everything. The last one, she just wanted to fight, bro. Like she I was mean. The, the soundtrack had cuss words in it and everything. This one's like, I'll make you gold. Like, bro. <laughs> Both of those just fit Yang really well. Like, that's really well done. And everything you're saying about Ruby and Yang, it literally explained in that song. <laughs> yeah. She's literally gonna be a pillar. So Sky. Yeah. With Yang being a pillar, right? Mm -hmm. And having like the whole weight of your on your shoulders. Yeah. Hopefully, like when she needs help, because everybody eventually needs help, mm -hmm. that she actually relies on them. It doesn't feel like, like oh, I don't want to bother him. I don't want to be a burden or something because I'm the one that always helps people. Mm -hmm. I hope it's not like that. Yeah, that's true. Um, if they're a team, right, and they communicate like well in the future, I feel like they have to realize that Yang needs help here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like there might be an arc where she's having, like, going through those, like, emotions. And I feel like that'd be pretty, like, insane to see. Ruby, soundtrack 7, I May Fall. Let's get it. Play it, Chess. Wow. Okay. Wow. Jeez. What's this about, do you think? Hmm. Bro, it kind of kind of feels like what I just talked about. Like, Yang, like, I may fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. We're back to depression again. Forsake our friends. I'm being serious, bro. This has to be like a rock band or guitar hero. <laughs> bro, I'm about to look it up. Wow, let's switch up again, dude.
It has to be all about all of them. Yep. Look at that part. Wow, I actually really like this one. Oh my, dude! Every time. I need, I need. Every time, bro, it's, it's so, so hard. So hard. <laughs> wow, bro, I like that one a lot. A lot, bro. The thing that got me, I may fall, bro. Every time <laughs> they hit the notes on that. That was so catchy. Wow, that one was good. That one was so good. I like how it combined all of the characters into this one song. Because, like, in the beginning, I was like, who's this about? I was like, it's all making sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And especially, like, you can hear the, like, the duplication of her voice. It's, like, all from singing at the same time. And, like, that tone to it, it's, like, a rock metal type of vibe, too. And, like, it completely switches into, like, ASMR. <laughs> like, huh? Like... Uh, 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 I'm like, wait, <laughs> it just calms me down. So Sky, the yeah. other songs have been kind of about how they've had struggles in the past and they're trying to overcome them. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of about the struggles that lay ahead. This is like all the things they're going to have to go through. This is kind of the thing that I feel like Ruby's mom didn't want her to have to see because all these struggles and hardships that they're going to go through. And mm -hmm. the solution is they just need to stick together, you know, 100%. as a group. They're all there for each other, and they can persevere through anything if they're together. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not. I'm not ready, bro. Uh, you say that scares me. He said it's not about the past or the present. It's about the future. I'm like, it's about it's about the future. It's crazy how these soundtracks are like a story of its own, like unfolding right now. Mm -hmm. Like going through all the stages, all the characters' yeah. like decision making, and bro, their lives. And it really makes you use your imagination too to like build a picture of what they're going through. And that's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, has it, has any other show done this? Not that I know. Of. Like, bro, it's like two separate stories. It's like a it's like a a prologue kind of deal in some of the songs, and it's pretty awesome. Ruby, wings, play a chase. The last one. Let's I'm get gonna, it. I'm kind of scared. Wings, bro. Bro, wings will set you free. But, oh no. No, this is already sad. It's not a long time. Wow, already speaking facts. Yep. When you're waiting for a small sign, patience. Seem to fill your life. That has to mean like challenges, right? Don't be disappointed. I think so. Don't let your heart break. Mm -hmm. Don't spend another minute in this way. It's okay. 
Okay. to this one already, bro. Bro, I can't pick any favorites, bro. I can't. I don't think I can either. She was just speaking facts the whole time. Yeah, what a way to end that off. Bro, I have goosebumps. <laughs> that was beautiful, bro. Wow. That was really emotional. I don't know where to start off on this. Dude, I don't either. I don't know what I want to say. Like, that was just amazing. And there's only eight songs to this? I want more, bro. I actually want more. Bro, I think we're in for a treat, though. So, if the episodes are longer in the future, right? Starting with season two. And imagine how the songs are going to improve, too. Bro, I can't wait. I, I just want to watch it now, dude. I just want to watch the whole series right now. So, Chase, on the song, she was talking about shadows, right? And I feel like the shadows that she's referring to are challenges in real life that you have to overcome. She was saying, like, all these challenges are in your life, right? And with that patience, you're just going to run around aimlessly for nothing. You have no objective. But with patience, you can overcome anything. And also at the same time, she was saying that one life is not a long life. I feel like if you don't have a reason to live, it's going to feel long. Like when she was saying that a night is 12 hours long, which is, and she's like, it was a long time. I feel like that's not a long time at all. And I feel like if you're just happy, you just don't realize how fast time's going. But if, you, if you're fighting and like stressing out, it feels like an eternity. So Sky. Yeah. You were saying how, like, the shadows represent challenges in her mm -hmm. life. But I was looking at it differently. I feel like the shadows are, like, her and her kind. They're kind of invisible. When you said life is short, life is too short to be, like, looked down upon like they are with no freedom. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to chase your dreams. Aimless, because probably a lot of opportunities they don't have. Like, what can you do? It feels hopeless. Mm -hmm. 
and when she was talking about patience right for for me it kind of felt like having the patience to like hope for something's better right like a better life like sitting there day after day aimless patient patiently waiting for things to get better when it's just not like you need to do something about it mm -hmm. and that's kind of what she ends up fighting for and when it comes to this 12 hours is a long night right yeah i kind of interpret that a couple different ways when i think of like 12 hours is a long night like i kind of think of darkness and shadows and stuff like they already talked about mm -hmm. but i kind of saw it like as they've kind of been in the dark this whole time like this is kind of they're, they'd be kind of like in the night like not allowed to shine brightly in their lives or society mm -hmm. kind of just stuck in place and for me it makes that makes it even like more sad and kind of more emotional and during the part where she said like dry your eyes now baby it kind of feels like she is like comforting other people right it feels like she's fighting for something that maybe a lot of people can't fight for themselves like she's telling them it's going to be all right like you don't have to stay in the shadows you don't have to spend your days aimlessly just sitting there stuck like she's actually going to do something about it and save people which i think is pretty cool all right, and there we have it. That was Ruby Volume 1 Soundtracks. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below for more suggestions and like and subscribe. Subscribe, as always. See you tomorrow. Check out Patreon! <laughs>